Valentine's Day look for you today. I know it's a little bit early, but better late, better early than late, right? Anyway, I think I may do two of the two different looks. I haven't decided yet. Um, I was gonna do one maybe for like if you're if you're gonna go to dinner with someone or if you have a date like with your boyfriend or husband. Um, and then I might do one for those of you who may not have a date. Maybe you and your girlfriends are going to go out somewhere or you're going to go to a party somewhere, but you're not really going to be going to dinner per se. I may do like maybe a bolder look. I haven't decided yet. So if y'all would like to see a second look, just let me know down in the comments below and I can get that video up for you guys. But anyways, I just did this one today. Just kind of very simple. I kept it simple. Very simple face. Very simple lips. Nothing spectacular. If you watch any of my videos, you know I don't ever wear my hair curly unless what? It's raining outside. So obviously it's raining outside because my hair's curly. Anyways, if you'd like to see how I did this look, then keep watching. So while having a romantic dinner with your boyfriend or hubby, you want to make sure that your eyeshadow is not going to be going anywhere. So I'm actually going to be doing three primers today, believe it or not. The first one I'm going to use is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to put a little bit of that on my eye. Rub that into my finger and put that all the way up to the brow. The next base I'm going to use is my Painterly Paint Pot. This is going to help neutralize the eyelid color. So it's all one flat shade. And next I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is Milk, this is the white one. And I'm actually going to put this on my finger because I find that I can blend it a little bit better using the warmth of my finger. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger like that, about that much. And you want to just place this on the lid. You do not want to put this all the way up to the brow bone. And keep this under the crease if possible. And just lightly blend that in. Now taking this pink shadow, it's the third one down in the row of pinks, you're going to take a very thin, flat, synthetic brush, like this one from Coastal Scents, dip that in your shadow. This is what we're going to use to cut our crease. I'm going to start in the outer corner and just draw a line. If you don't have a crease, kind of fake it. Just feel where your brow bone is and it's right underneath your brow bone. You want to make sure that the most color stays on the outer edge and it kind of fades in. This may take a little while, so work with it. Be patient. Get a little more on the brush and do the same thing. Just make sure you really, really cut the crease and make a very Define the line. Then take your brush and flick it upwards to kind of blend out the harshness of that line on top, but we still want to keep it really clean on the bottom. Now taking this darker pink and using the same brush, start again on the outer corner. to intensify the color just a tad. And then again, flicking your brush upwards. Now take a pencil brush like this one, and you want to just blend this color. Make sure you keep the sharpness on the bottom. You just want to help blend it out on towards your brow. You want to blend upwards. You want to make sure that you keep the sharp line that you've got going on the bottom. Now taking this white color right here on the top, very top corner, take a flat shader brush, apply this all over the lid making sure not to touch the pink that we've applied. Now for the liner, I'm going to be using a gel liner today, but you can use whatever liner you're comfortable with. 
I'm going to be using my Stila smudge pot. This is just in black. Like this. It's a black gel liner, but you can use whatever gel liner you have. Take an angled synthetic brush like this one. We're going to pull our eye taut just slightly. And you want to start in the middle of the lid. And when you get to your outer corner, we want to turn our brush and just flick it outwards. So now you have sort of a wing, a messy wing. Then we're going to take this and connect it to the lower lash line. Then you want to work your way in. Now take your brush with the point side facing down, if that makes sense. Now when you get to the, your absolute inner corner, we're actually going to extend this just a tad. like this to our lower lash line. Now you just want to connect it to the lower lash line. Starting from the outer corner, going in, we're going to line the water line with, this, with the same gel liner. Now using any color that you feel works for your hair color, fill in your brows. I use the darkest brown, it's the one that's right above the black in the palette. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly fill in my brows using very short strokes. The last step, of course, is to curl your lashes and apply your mascara. Today I'm just going to use my Victoria's Secret. This is my little travel one that I like so much. I just really like the brush because it separates my lashes, but it makes them look really, really long as well. I don't know how well you can see that brush. For my cheeks, I just wanted to keep everything really sweet, really innocent, whether you are or not. So I just used my um, MAC Just a Pinch Gel Blush, took a little bit, dabbed it on, just kind of rub it in like this, and it just gives a really good flush to the cheeks. Then for lips, um, I really think a red lip might look really pretty with this because you've got the pink on the eye, so the red might kind of offset that, which could be really pretty. Um, but I just did a pink lip, kind of a peachy pink, because my lip liner, my red lip liner, I ran out of, and it is essential to have a red lip liner when you have red lipstick. So I just used, this is um, the NYX, I don't know if like the round lip gloss, I'm not quite sure, or the round lipsticks, I'm not quite sure, but this color is in Louisiana. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks like this. Just a really pretty, like, pink, baby pink color, but it's really good. It's a really pretty color. I just put that all over my lips. And then I used my Dazzle Glass in Rags to Riches. Looks like this. Just dabbed a little bit on top. Just to give a sparkle to the lips. And that is pretty much it, guys. So I really hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.